Hello, adventurers, and welcome to this educational walkthrough of Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion with Sam Wise from Mahalo. For more Oblivion videos, go to mahalo.com slash oblivion walkthrough. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to this video. Your services to the guild have not gone unnoticed. As of this moment, you have gained the rank of Evoker. Along with your new rank, please take this amulet. May it help keep you safe in times of danger. Are you ready for it? If not, I understand you've been through quite a bit lately. Very well. There's a research project going on at one of the alien ruin sites on the eastern side of the province. Irlav Jirol is in charge of the project and is apparently in need of some help. I thought you might need a break after the things you've been exposed to lately. You can find Irlov in the Archmage's Tower. He's a good man, but council matters have distracted him lately and he's been neglecting his other work. Irlov should be waiting. Hello. You're about Vatican, are you? It's a damn shame. I haven't been giving the project the attention it deserves. The last report I received from Scalil indicated there was some sort of problem, a blocked passage or something that they couldn't get past. I'd investigate it further, but I'm needed here with the council. Ramanus says you've got a good head on your shoulders. Look into it for me, will you? You can find Scalil at the site. Access is restricted, so you'll need this key. She's the mage heading up the on-site research. She can tell you more about whatever it is that's impeding their progress. It's an alien ruin southwest of Chaden Hall. We suspect that there are some interesting things inside, so a research project was established. Scalil is there now, working on investigating the ruins. I eagerly await your return. Ah, you must... You have business here? Don't tell me Jarl sent you. Erlov sent you, did he? Figures. He can't be bothered to come check on his own project, so he sends someone who knows nothing about it. And this is supposed to help? No offense to you, friend. It's not your fault. And perhaps you can help. If you can figure out how to use the pillar, I'd be thrilled. You're welcome to try your hand at it. That's what we're calling it, only because we don't know what it really is, or was. It's magical, we know that much. Enchanted somehow. 
We think it's a lock of some sort, but haven't been able to figure out how it works. All I can say for sure is that it reacts to magic badly most of the time. Several mages were hurt attempting to cast spells at it. It's at the bottom of the ruins, if you wish to try your luck. Be careful, though. It could be quite hazardous to your health. Best to play it safe. No complex magic. Stick to basic spells with single effects. It's not worth taking unnecessary risks. This place has been nothing but trouble as far as I'm concerned. Since we disposed of the creatures that had taken up residence here, it's been nothing but a fight to figure out how the place works. The pillar has had us stumped for more than a week now, not to mention the injuries it's caused. What a waste of my talents. Sent you in to try your hand at the thing, have they? I don't know how much Scalil told you. We know that it reacts to magic, but every time we've tried, the thing shocks whomever cast the spell. It hasn't been fatal for anyone yet, but we stopped trying after the first few attempts. I can tell you, it really hurts. The only thing we haven't figured out is the markings. You see them on the walls? They must relate to the pillar, but I don't know how. If we had some sort of reference, something to compare them to, we might be able to decipher them. But we lack anything like that. Skalil might have a book that would be useful, but she's been skulking over the way Erlov's been treating her. Perhaps you could ask her for it. Farewell. If there's anything about Vatican you need explained, let me know. I'll help if I can. I don't know why Dental is even trying. This is doomed to fail. But fine. If he wants it, he can have it. It's just one more thing I'll get blamed for in the end. What? Go ahead. You got the book, eh? Good for you. I've given up trying to deal with her for now. I'll tell you what, I'll take the book, and then if you can read me the inscriptions, I'll see if I can find the translations for them. This is kind of... What do you... Okay. According to this, it translates to, from fire, life. Fire it is, then. Anything else? Kind of exciting. Mafre seems to translate to frost, so a spell with frost damage should work for it. Anything else? can I do? Okay. Here we are. Magicka darkens. Hmm. That's an odd one. Perhaps it's not a literal translation, then. Is there another inscription like it? It means Magicka shines, and taken in context with the other inscription. If we assume it means Magicka waxes, then a spell increasing Magicka might be what we need. Something that fortifies it, perhaps. 
It means Magicka darkens. Considering the other inscription, perhaps a spell that damages magic. Well, would you look at that? Someone will need to see where this goes. I think you should go. You've done all the hard work, after all. If there are any discoveries to be made, you should be the one to make them. You deserve that much. Be careful and watch your step. What's that you have there? That looks important, whatever it is. I think you've really found something. You'd best get that to Erlov back at the Imperial City as soon as possible. He'll want the mages there to examine it more closely. What a waste of my... How are you? What's this? Some sort of alien artifact? Well, well. Romanus was right in sending you out there. <laughs> good work. I'll be sure and put in a good word for you. 